The following is a snippet from the Good Life podcast. Here's a list of the topics from the first five episodes. I'll leave a link in the description. It's something you can listen to while you're driving or working out, or if you just have some downtime. For now, though, let's get into the snippet. It's a good life. It's a good life. Welcome to the good life. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Good Life podcast. Episode two. We made it. <laughs> episode two of the good life podcast today we have an extremely interesting topic that we want to talk about uh today's topic is invisible fears invisible fears so i want to jump right into it and start start like this um i want to start by saying fear is a very interesting thing right um everyone on the planet from the second we're born we have a relationship with fear and <laughs> and uh, as a human being, you have to learn how to deal with fear or it will literally control your life, right? So we all develop mechanisms to deal with it, whether it's conscious or subconscious. Um, yep. <laughs> right, right, right. That's my co-host, Chill. I'm going to introduce you in a second. Chill, co-host. <laughs> and I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Um, so today, however, what we're going to talk about um, are invisible fears. Not just fears. Invisible ones. So these are things that, let's say, you're afraid of, but you don't know you're afraid of. So the mechanisms that you built up to deal with fear, they don't kick in. All right? Um, and these in these invisible fears get to pretty much run run through your life unchallenged, right? Um, they dictate your decisions without you knowing. Uh, but before we get into that, though, before we mm-hmm, jump into mm-hmm. it, I want I want you guys to to give me a second to introduce uh, my co-host. We're gonna start it off like this. <laughs> We're gonna start it off like this. We're gonna start it off like this. My co-host, the one and only, Mr. NBA. <laughs> the one and only, ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Easton Blake. My co-host, Mr. Easton Blake. Thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, let me throw it right back at you, man. <clears throat> all right. So let me take my uh-huh. time here. All right, I got a little right, little go. thing here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I want a big all one. Right. I want a big oh, one. Oh. <laughs> I got you. I, got <laughs> I want you. a big one. All right. Here we go. 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 Y'all let them know. Mister Six Foot Four. I got to start every time because <laughs> okay. you bad tall. Well. My good friend. Yes, Hashtag sir. do crew. I gotta always mention the do crew. That's all Hashtag we do. girl dag, Mr. Dooley. Hold <laughs> up. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for that intro. Of course, brother. Of course. Alright, Easton. So I'm 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 very excited about this topic. This is obviously my topic. Um right. and, and for the listeners who don't know, the way we're doing this is we start off we start with rotating. Man, that last girl who was clapping at the end there, she was she was into our conversation. <laughs> She you was. heard her? <laughs> she was into her. that. She, <laughs> Give me a bomb but, real quick. <laughs> but we, we rotate topics. Last week was uh, Easton's topic. This week is my topic. And uh, But I feel, I think you're probably equally as excited to, to discuss this, right? We were, we were talking oh. about it a bit yesterday. Oh, yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. I, I, I do feel this topic here hits because I myself have dealt a lot with visible fears in my life. So... Yeah, it's a very big topic for me. All right, dope. So let's start it off like this. I'm interested in hearing, do you have any recent examples? Actually, it doesn't have to be recent. Any examples of invisible fears in your life that you feel like you'd like to share? um, Of course. With everyone. Yeah, and I have one that I think that hits home many people out there. So, again, you know me, I don't like to say names. So I okay. won't say any names here. All right, because uh, we gotta sleep somewhere tonight. Well, well, it's not even. In- <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing to do. Yeah, right, right, right. With okay, that thing. Okay. 
So, so we got. My, <laughs> so my we, example, we use the aliases. We got to use the aliases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, some people might do. Oh, uh, but you know, it's up to you to you know ponder and okay. imagination and things like that. So got for it, me, it's it, it's my last job, right? You know, right. uh, I was with that company. IAS. About, oh shoot, uh, we can't oh, say name. Oh, my, bad. Man, my, bad. Can't my bad. My bad. <laughs> my, my, my bad. My bad. <laughs> Oh, man. So, so, My bad. Let's go. <laughs> so yeah, so I was there for about ten years, right? And you know, for the last three to four years of being there, I was really unhappy, right? Yes. I sat there, I, I complained about it, came home, affected my my whole yes, entire yes. life with my friends, my a lot girlfriend. Of conversations about it, yes. A lot of conversations about it, hours and hours, right? And I sat there, complained, and did nothing. And mm. the biggest question that came up to me was, why didn't I leave, right? You know, and to me, the reason why I didn't leave was an invisible fear that I did not know about, mm. right? And mm. that there, hold on, 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 ladies and gentlemen, it's a good life. <laughs> it's a good life. Hold on, hold on. All right, let's hear that. So you feel like there was an invisible fear that you didn't know about. Can, sorry, can you? Can you you elaborate on that. <laughs> not, not 100%. <laughs> you know, because I, I was stuck in a rut. I wasn't happy, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And I wasn't growing at all. I was just there mad every day. And mm. the thing is that, you know, I was doing good work, but I wasn't growing. I wasn't happy. I wasn't where where I should have been or felt like where I should have been. You know, I was Growth. stuck there. Growth. Right. Yes, yes, I yes. was just stuck. And, and that was, to me, the invisible fit that I had. Which is why, you know, that story I feel like does hit home for many people out there. So wait, what now. exactly what exactly was the fear? Was the job the fear? The, or was the it fear leaving was the not, job that was the fear? The, the, the fear was leaving a place where I'm comfortable, right? You know, 10 years, mm, you get comfortable in a yes. place, right? Yes, sir. And that can hold you back from really truly growing to your highest potential because you're just stuck in that every same, same exact, you know, recurring... I come in, I go to work, I do the exact same oh, thing that I know I to do. I do, I do the job of, well, and I just got stuck in that rut. Right. So, that was the fear. The fear was just leaving the job, leaving Mr. being Blake, comfortable can you hear me? in a place. Hold on. I think we had a little bit of technical difficulties there. You you cut out um, yeah. for a little bit. Oh, well, I think I'm back now. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we didn't hear like the last maybe 10 seconds or so what you said. Oh, I just said that I was... I, I was comfortable in being in the same place for such a long time you know yeah just you know a habit i get up go to yeah. work do the exact same task over and over again i know i can yeah. do that task very well nothing really challenged me right and that cha right. no challenge not being challenged i just said okay whatever i'm getting paid right is what it is but i didn't really grow i didn't really hit my potential at all by by doing that right okay yeah i think yeah. that's i think that's dope i think that's dope yeah, um, yeah thank you thank we're you, gonna thank you. I want to, a little bit later on, get into how exactly you went about dealing with that, you know. Oh, oh um, yeah. But uh, for now, like, I think I think that example is, is something a lot of people probably face themselves, you know. Yeah. Um, this idea of getting comfortable where you're at and mm -hmm. not knowing that the reason why you don't want to move forward is an invisible fear, right? Yeah. You, you don't yeah. know... You know what you know, and you don't know what's outside of that. So let's just keep doing what we know. You know, I think that's a dope example here. Thank you, man. Thank you. I mean, I lived a life, right? So, <laughs> um, uh, so, so I guess I mean, for you now, yeah. I'm going to ask you now, like, do you have any stories on your end and, uh, you know, bring to the, the front? Yeah, definitely. Like, I, um, my story probably isn't as, uh, as serious as yours, but it still taught me a lot. Um, uh, it's, it's, we just got a new cat, Zoe, you know, like round of applause for Zoe. Um, and, uh, you met the cat. It's a cute cat. Um, yeah. the main reason I got it was, uh, for my wife. She's been asking me, um, to get a cat for a while. And I decided, yeah, I decided that we'll just to the wife. go ahead and pull the plug. But I would say that my whole life, if you know me, I would describe myself as like a, a not not a cat person. I was a dog person. I love dogs, and I always wanted to get a dog. Um, but 
uh, cat. Like, I just thought I was not a cat person. And uh, we got Zoe. Had to drive four hours each way to go to get her and all that stuff. Um, and uh, from, like, the second we got Zoe, like, I realized um, that the reason... I, I First of all, I fell in love with Zoe. You know, I would say... I would say now I'm officially like I am a cat person, right? Zoe, Zoe's <laughs> right, 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 right. That's a round of applause there. <laughs> but I was, <laughs> I would say um, from the second we got her, like I noticed like the amount of care, and she was a kitten. She was six weeks, six weeks, no, uh, maybe maybe in ten weeks or so when we got her. I can't remember the exact. But from the second she was a little kitten, we had her like coming home. And I would notice the amount of care she took when she, like, touched your skin. Like, so she would, like, be messing with, like, something. And even in the car, she would be messing with, like, the blanket and her claws would be out. And then if you put your hand, like, under her paw, she would retract her claws so she won't, like, don't, so she won't risk, like, scratching you. And I didn't know cats were like that. I thought all cats were just, <laughs> you know, do whatever rah, they rah, want. Rah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, and then we got home. And this is how I realized it, you know, it was, I had an invisible fear is she was, she was still kind of kidney and she was like running around, you know, and she, she was like, kind of like, you know, jumping and, and jumping around my foot and stuff. And I realized I was super on edge. Like I realized I was afraid that she was going to scratch or bite me. Mm -hmm. And that was the moment where I noticed, holy crap, like. Here I am, a grown ass man, and I'm afraid of this <laughs> this kitten in front of me. Like, um, and the second I realized that, then you know, um, when I realized I was afraid, the my, my mechanisms for dealing with fear kicked in. But before that, I didn't know I was I was afraid at all. Like I thought I was just not a, a cat a person. A cat person. So yeah, right. So um, how how do you deal with fear currently? 